Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. Today we have Chipotle. I got a bowl and Jose got a burrito. A burrito. What did you get in your bowl? Um, I got brown rice, uh, pinto beans, sofritas, which I think is like the vegetarian meat. And then, um, Ooh, sorry guys. All three salsas, the corn, sour cream, guacamole, and lettuce. So pretty much everything except for no cheese. Oh, and I got the fajita vegetables too. Mm. Pretty yummy. I got the barbacoa meat, um, lettuce, um, the corn and stuff, cheese, hot sauce, and pinto beans. Did you get the veggies too? The fajita yes, veggies? Yes, yes, and the fajita veggies. So he got everything but no uh, sour cream, right? And no guacamole. Exactly. Which is crazy. Like, who doesn't get guacamole? Look at how big that is. Shit's huge. Yeah, huge. Huge. That's huge or huge. All right, guys. I'm digging in. I've actually never had the sofritas from Chipotle before. Um. Hmm. I've been to Chipotle, I think, once, hell of moons ago. It's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's definitely like a. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's like bland, you know, but like. It's definitely like fast food dish taste, you know, like maybe it's like, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is, but I feel like, um, sterile. in my opinion, I, I've always felt like Chipotle is a little bit bland. Um, and I think sterile is a good word for it too. Like it's good, but like it tastes healthy. Is Chipotle healthy? Uh -huh. I don't know, guys. Is Chipotle healthy? Mm. Let us know. It's good. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh, I feel like the, the rice and the beans taste like they don't have, like, fat in them. Yeah. And I got a little hot sauce. They only offer, like, um,. Tabasco. Tabasco hot sauce, which I'm not a fan of, but this one is their um, Chipotle one, which it smells and tastes good. It doesn't taste like Tabasco to me, so that's that's good. Yeah, mm. on the way here, I was saying, like, I mean, it's weird that they offer Tabasco. Do you guys like Tabasco? Like, I don't know. It has that vinegary taste. Like, I think it definitely, you need a dash or two and a Bloody Mary, but other than that, I don't That's it. it. Mm hmm That guac from Chipotle is so good. They really have a system down for getting the most perfectly ripe, ripe avocados. Mmm. The lady working back there was like, a mile a minute. Mm. You're like, wait. Too annoying. Yeah. She's like, like black, white, or pinto, blah, 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 blah. You're yeah. like, fuck, calm down. And so she's like, just yelling out, uh, pinto or black beans? Uh, what kind of hot sauce? And you're like, wait, let me get there. What kind of meat? You want everything? Cheese, guacamole, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, um, let me think about that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't come here every day. Exactly. I think a lot of people do just like go every day. So they just have like their order ready. Is that so? There's a lot of people who have, yeah, who go to Chipotle all the time. When my coworkers go there all the time, they have like a loyalty thing. Like a points program? Mm hmm. Hmm. And we're just drinking water. Hmm. That's good. The things I like about Chipotle 
I don't go there very much, but the couple things I do like is the guacamole obviously is hella good. And I like their sour cream. It's like so watery. Like it's just like really like drizzly. Mmm. I just got like a huge chunk of avocado. What would be like another like uh like Chipotle like restaurant? Like Baja Fresh, but I've never been there. Maybe kinda, yeah. Yeah. Baja Fresh or like Rubio's. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. I love their like fajita veggies here. It's so good. What does the veggie meat taste like? I gave you a bite of it. Oh. At least I tried to. It's hard to say. I mean, it's just definitely it's like a, yeah, it's good. It has good flavor. It's like a. Yeah. like a soy meat product yeah they definitely don't give you a lot of meat mm -mm. but it's good obviously it's filling it's hella big and this is like a half yeah that's a hefty boy Mhm. Mm we went out to eat with Karen yesterday oh there should be a video out soon. Mm -hmm. And I know it's kind of like repetitive, but what we do is we set our tripod with our phone camera, and then she sets hers up right next to it. So we're like, you know, you'll see a lot of the same content. The only difference will be like how we edit it, you know? But yeah. Yeah, we went and got hot dogs, but we didn't have, like, a plan for where we were going to film. And the restaurant ended up being, like, too loud. Like, too much, like, music to film there. So, we went and found, like, a park. But it wasn't, like, the ideal filming situation either because these people showed up with, like, kids and they were, like, being really loud. And then, like, the table was really long, so I felt like I was, like, really far away. I wasn't sure if, like, you could even hear me, but I don't know. So, anyway, hopefully it turns out to be a good video, but I just feel like I'm going to come across a little awkward in it, so I'm sorry if I do. Today's President's Day. We are both so lucky that we don't have to work today. Let us know if you guys had to work on President's Day. We've both definitely worked our fair share of jobs where we did have to work on holidays like that, so much sympathy. If you do. But the cool much thing... Respect. The one good thing, like, I will say, if and when you get a job where you work, like, you know, quote-unquote normal hours, like 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, you know? You do kind of miss those, like, opportunities to go, like, run errands. Or, like, go to a doctor's appointment. You know, stuff like that, like, on, like, a Monday when there's, like, nobody out and about. You know. Part of that antisocial lifestyle. Yeah. We're at this, um, like, shopping center. And it's, like, packed. Mm. It's a beautiful day out, too, though. Yeah. The weather out here has been so weird. Like, it's been fluctuating so much. Like, our weather's usually pretty moderate in general. I mean, we don't get too far away from, like, 65 ever. But, lately it's just been, like, cold enough to where you need, like, a jacket. Which is kind of uncommon for San Francisco. Like, you don't often, in my opinion, need a jacket that much out here. But then today it's like hot. Yeah, it's really hot. That's hot. I mean, it's hot in our car right now. Because we're like, you know, sacrificing our comfort for you guys. But outside it's what? What do you think, like 65? Or do you think it's even almost 70? I think it's almost 70. Yeah. It was, it was really warm. 
It is really warm. Mm. Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> it's kind of bland. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't lie to you guys. It's good. It's um, it's filling. Um, but just a little blend. Like the, the meat can have definitely more um, more of a kick. Um, mm-hmm. More je ne sais quoi. Mm-hmm. You should have got guac. That's just make it even more bland. What? I don't know. I just I don't know. I'm not a big um, guacamole guy. Said no one ever. Stop, Teddy. The dogs are in the back and they can smell the food. Yeah, that's why we don't film in our car that much is because like we do feel a little bit bad about them having to be in the car. Yeah. Like we, we will give them something after we're done, but. Yeah, this is just like, what, our second video we've done in the car? Yeah. But like there have been other times that Jose suggested it and I'm like, but what about the dog? Um, they were wearing their Valentine shirts this this weekend. They still really are, cute. aren't they? Well, they still are. Maybe we can show you guys after we're done eating. Yeah, they have little shirts. They're so cute. You took pictures, so we can just insert those. Mm hmm. Um, pro tip, guys. If you go, if you want to go to Chipotle and not have like enough food for like the second coming of Christ, um, order one taco, one soft taco, and they will put it like in a bowl. They put the tortilla in there, and they, they are like, what kind of rice? What kind of beans? And just because they have so much extra like area to work with while they're building your food. They end up like putting this, like you'll, they'll grab like the guac spoon and still grab like that full amount. And then you can see them kind of like thinking it over like, oh crap, I just put like hella food in this bowl. But what you end up with is like a Chipotle bowl with a little flour tortilla on the bottom, but it's just like slightly smaller portion than what you would get in like a full on bowl, but it's like plenty of food and it's like $4. Hmm. That's my Chipotle pro tip. One time I did it and the dude who was making it was like, at the end, he was like, this is almost like a bowl, huh? And I was like, yep. He's like, but exactly. it's going to be like $3. I'm like, yep. Now you're, now you're catching on. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Because, like, especially, like, if you are getting this on, like, your lunch break at work or something, like, this is way too much food. And what do they offer on the side? Just tortilla chips? Yeah, you can get like a side of tortilla chips. Oh. I never get them. That's boring. Um, I think, I could be wrong, but I think they're like seasoned tortilla chips, like lime tortilla chips. I'm not down for that kind of stuff. I'm a purist. I ate that hella fast. Yeah. I think I'm gonna like tap out and save this for later because yeah. I don't want to be like uncomfortably full. Welp, guys. Um, thank you for joining us for our little quickie. Yeah. A little quickie lunch video. A little quickie lunch. Video. <laughs> <laughs> He's always copying me. It's thank so Thank you annoying. guys for joining us on a little quickie, quickie lunch, lunch video. video. Anyway. Um, stay tuned for our video with Karen. We'll be macking on some delicious hot dogs out in the park. And uh, stick around because we've got more videos coming up soon. Because you know it. We will be... Mugbanging. Bye guys. Bye y'all.